One of the things that I get asked about probably more than anything else is kind of where do I come up with these monsters and stuff that I make. And I wish that I could credit my imagination fully. You know, I, I kind of like to believe that, but when it comes down to it, it's just good old fashioned research. What I'll do is, is I'll actually, you know, kind of look around and try to find something, kind of find a monster, and find something that inspires me. And I'll kind of lure it out into my view and, and I'll take reference photos. <laughs> then I can upload them into my computer and kind of stare at them for inspiration. And I'll just start scribbling. You know, I'll look at some of the photos and I'll just start scribbling. I'll be like, you know, oh, this thing, you know, it, it, it had a lot of teeth or, 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 or this one had some spikes on it. And then I just really, really start, you know, kind of refining the sketch a little bit. This is kind of the part where my brain kind of does go nuts a little bit, I guess. Maybe what would this what would this monster look like if it, if it had a leg here or if it had wings? These aren't arms, these are wings. For instance, you know, this thing had a tongue. Like, I don't, I think it was a tongue. Maybe it was an intestine, I don't know. But it, it kind of flailed out. Then I started kind of thinking, like, what if this tongue actually was controlling the monster? So what if this tongue was like a little spider monster or something? That's kind of the directions that I go and just play with it and then get the sketch really, really tight and really refined so that I have something to work on. After I get done with the initial sketch and the, the really tight sketch, um, what I do is I print it out at a really low opacity so that I can kind of have a loose guide, I guess, basically for when I go into the inking process. Then I just sit there and kind of like bug out on the inking for a while. You know, I take my brush and just kind of ink it. And this is kind of, this is the part that I think is the most fun for me. Um, it's the most expressive using a brush and, you know, this and that. And, and I can still add to the sketch and I can still kind of play around with, with wrinkles and and with lines and stuff. One of the, my final steps at least, is uh, I have a lot of problems with kind of like the cryptozoology department's kind of calling me and, and, and bugging me all the time. And my last step usually is is, is covering my tracks. I, I don't really want anything to see. So, you know, for instance, we have the finished drawing and, you know, I'll just like, I, I really want to like cover it up so that nobody else can see it. And, and you know, so I usually just like kind of eat most of it. And that way it guarantees that nobody else can, can do anything with it. So, it doesn't taste very good, but it's, I know, I know where it's going. I hope you learned something, maybe. I don't know.